So give us your Masters of Wine description. Oh. And granted, dear friend, JCB69 is a Burgundy. It's a Pinot Noir, which is one of the few loves as well. Of yes, it Claire. is. Yes, Pinot Noir is definitely a love, but it's a fickle love, isn't it, Pinot Noir? You know, this is really is a lovely wine Thank um, you. because it's so fresh. And, and bubbles should be, mm -hmm. you know, especially pink bubbles. But I think with, with, with rosé, sparkling champagnes, um, you know, all, all bubble um, content should, um, with, with a, with a rosé, you should have that hit of fruit immediately because that's what the bubbles are doing. You know, they're bringing up the aromas yes. and the flavours with every, you know, with every movement. And, and, and that's what should hit you first. And that's what does hit you first with this wine, mm. both on the nose and, and, on the, and on the palate. Um, and that's what makes it such a, it's a really joyful wine, isn't it? Thank you. Yes. We need a toast oh, with our thank you 33 very much. Chardonnay. Thank you. And why 33? Because this is the age of Christ when he went up. Mm. And he became that very spiritual force. Mm. He was 33 mm. years old. I didn't know you'd, you'd named it for that. I mean, you'd, you'd well, in one that. way too, because okay. I, you know why? I think for me, this is the best Chardonnay I could ever help to make in the Russian River. It's, it's lovely. Oh, Russian River Chardonnay. 75 cases oh, made. Joy. And I thought, I'm 33, mm -hmm. not yep. when I made this wine, but that would be the age yep. Yep. of the ultimate accomplishment. What's so beautiful about a really high quality Californian Chardonnay is that you have this perfect symmetry between ripeness that you're obviously getting from the glorious sunshine. Yes. The fruit is ripe and slightly exotic but you also achieve this beautiful line of acidity because of the fog coming in in the morning, because of the diurnal contrasts of temperatures night and day, because of the, the uh, altitude of the slopes. Russian River has this beautiful, cool, cool yes. stretch to it. It's, it has the coastal Pacific um, influence. And so that acidity, and that, and that wine gets you, doesn't it? It grips you straight mm. away in the mouth. You're gonna go, oh, that's, that's lovely. I'm going to ask you to finish your glass, Claire, if it's not too much asking, because I'm going to serve you secret indulgence. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, this is quite a lot to finish, so I might just have a glass, have a sip and... I'm so excited to have Claire try something, because, dear friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on Claire's body. No, you're not. <laughs> Her husband is watching, right. so I know he doesn't mind. Where does it go? I've asked him the authorization. <laughs> so secret indulgence Where, where does is, that go? is very cool. It could go at your <laughs> ankle. my ankle. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to suggest maybe, my, maybe your... My exactly. Wrist. Maybe my wrist. So dear friends, we've produced this wine that is so powerful, that is all about the idea of resurrection, of the secret indulgence of life. So as you enjoy the wine, you wear it oh, as well that. as a bracelet. Look at that. How lovely. Isn't it fun? Yes, that is really fun. So there we're going to do this. Up. You look snap it. That. And oh, then I that becomes it. a very trendy. That is very trendy. Look at look our at, groovy. Look at me. Look this at is me. very Austin Powers, isn't yes. it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very delighted, excited with 1881 Napa to bring a true American entrepreneur to the table. Jeff! We did it! Did you see how the cork came out? Oh, yeah, I'm still looking at my eye, John Charles. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> well, I cannot take your eye yet. We are in the James Bond Hill. Cheers. I'm going to have to take it out if I win. Ah, there you go. Well, if, you're, if my eye's on the table, then, then I demand a wager. Oh, here we go. Well, let's go on the table. Hey, by the way, what does it make you think? This is really one of our Chardonnay. I really wanted, as a true Californian that you are, you know, try a sparkling wine from the history of Napa Valley. So this is 1881. The first time we, many times ago, met, it was in that great museum. So we had to. I, I'm using a drug to make sure he loses his sense of ability. Do you always drink and play? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think uh, getting outside your comfort zone, a part of that is, you know, getting rid of those inhibitions and, and seeing where the night takes you. Um, but, you know, it's, it's about, once again, drinking something very quality, right? Yeah. I'm not one of those people that I'm going to drink a bunch of, you know, Heineken all night, but I'll, I'll open a really nice bottle of, of a champagne. And, you know, as I, as I sip on this, um, uh, 
the champagne, it smells delicious. Mm -hmm. um, and what, it uh, tastes like a, like a very classic Blanc de Blanc, is that right? That's right. Yeah, so dear friends, Blanc de Blanc, you know, Chardonnay based. And this is for you, Jeff, Napa Valley. First, cheers. Cheers. With a historical American wine. And I don't know about you, but you know, I'm gonna get my body in there because this is pretty sexy here. Look at that. Especially this bottle of Buena Vista. This is some, uh, some hedonistic wine. So I'm gonna mm. come on in here with you. Oh my goodness. What a perfect wine. Spending time with, with you has made me realize that experiences are so important in the world of wine, huh. right? We've drank a glass of wine, yes. but we shared an experience. That's right. And I will forever remember this Buena Vista red wine because of this experience that we've had. Wow. <laughs> How can I either? <laughs> That's going to be cold. The proprietor's blend, that's gonna be the jacuzzi. Maybe we empty it in the water with just the wine. Ooh, we bring energy to the wine. I'm gonna bring something that's gonna bring a vortex of pleasure to you. Ooh. So Jeff, we wanna hear your sense of description of a great wine that is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon and happens to be my dream. So I want to hear your dream as you describe this wine. Like every drop in that bottle. Yes. Like you poured your life into it. That's right, very much so. You know, it, it has to do with your, your family and your, you know, your sister and your parents and making that wine at home as a, you know. Um, and that's what fascinates me. And if I can do my part, just understand your story and bring that to our customers and get you have enough of these, uh, you know, glass of this wine, so you autograph this bottle and some more for our customers. I think that's the least in the short term what I can do towards that goal. Well, maybe we could do it. <laughs> okay. Shall we make it happen? Larry and the beautiful Jerry, look at this. Look at what's happening. <coughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> so Jerry, I just saw you sipping in this wine. So would you be so sweet to describe it for us? Because I know you have an amazing palate. We've tasted a lot of wines together and I'm always so impressed. How could this young lady know so much about wine? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard work. We it's, all have our, our cross to bear. <laughs> lots of practice. That's what I say. Lots and lots of practice. And when I learned about the Buena Vista Chardonnay, it was just perfect. Um, it's not too oaky, not too buttery, very, but just, just perfectly balanced. It's full mouth. It is just a fantastic, fantastic Chardonnay. Tell us both about why this wine is one of your guests' favorite. And, oh, uh, it's just such an easy, oh, everyone loves this wine. Everyone. And, and I so appreciate that the fact that you have the smaller bottles as well. So if somebody just wants to have a couple of glasses of wine, then they yes. can still get a fabulous Napa cap and not have to buy the whole bottle, but just buy the smaller bottles. It just works out perfectly. And we, uh, and the price point's so great too, right? So, cause it's a true Napa cap, it's fabulous. And so people will take it, they'll, they'll sip on it. They may, uh, you know, a couple may share a couple of the little bottles or they may just share one of the little bottles and then purchase one of the, the regular size bottles to take home with you. So um, this has definitely you, been- How do people react, uh, Jerry, on the taste profile? What, what do you think makes this wine such a success? Because for me, it's really the iconic wines for any foreigner coming to Napa Valley or whenever I go to any countries around the world, this is my go-to wine as well because it really showcases a phenomenal and splendid, you know, history in the glass. What's your view of that? Well, and I love the history in the glass as well, because we always, we like to tell the story as well. So the fact that it's the oldest winery, you know, and, and we, and we love to tell that story, but honestly, it's just so tasty. <laughs> it's just delicious. 
And people like it because it's easy to drink. It's very smooth and yet it's full body though, you know, and um, a lot of times people will sit at the bar with a, you know, and have a, just a small snack with it, but it just, it goes with everything. And uh, I would, I would definitely say this is our number one cap that we sell here in our store.